Hey, what's up everybody? Stealth Dragon for Life and I just want to show you this theme, this dynamic theme that I got from PlayStation and it's with the Shakira Shadow Dice Twice. I think I keep pronouncing it right and wrong, but one thing I want to point out about this theme is that it really brings out HDR. If you look on the bottom, look at the flame coming out, okay? Now, kind of don't want all these stupid symbols, but there you go. Look at the HDR. I'll just kind of keep going through the icon so you can see the flame coming out the side of his arm where he's got that flamethrower, whatever you call it. But this theme with the colors and everything, it looks phenomenal. And I gotta tell you, man, this TV works wonders. You know, guys, one thing I gotta say is I got some comments about some unsatisfied people when it comes to their TVs because of the blooming, because of things that they notice. You don't have to tolerate that, guys. Especially if you have a return policy, a warranty, you get what you deserve. You go and get the TV that you really want. You get the right panel. You don't settle for less. You don't just accept it, okay? It's not acceptable. That's like you working hard all day for your boss and then your boss decides to not pay you, okay? No, it doesn't work that way. So one thing I gotta say is that you know, if you do feel like you have some kind of defects in your panel and you have your warranty, you have your return policy, use it. That's why it's there, okay? Because at the end of the day, do you really want to frustrate yourself every day not taking the step to just return the panel? If you have a bad panel, what makes you think the next panel you get is going to be even worse, okay? You're basically going to the store or to the manufacturer and you're saying, look, I'm not happy with this panel because this panel has some kind of defect on it and I could show you, okay? But to be honest with you guys, this panel, this is why I created this channel. This panel is phenomenal, okay? This panel is great. The colors come out really, really good. I mean, just by showing you on the phone is one thing, but when you actually see it for yourself, look at the blacks in that is basically pure OLED level, pretty much. And this is why I am basically saying that the Q9FN is way better than the Q90R. And the main reason why is because it doesn't have the XY viewing angle. So when you have the XY viewing angle, what happens is, is they decided to make the local dimming automatic. So now the local dimming that's automatic, you can't, you can't shut it off. It always has the feature on. So then it brightens up objects to filter the color, but that's not accurate. That is just simulated, okay? This TV, on the other hand, is not X, Y view and angle, and it retains 100% color volume. If you look on the screen, all the colors are there. There is no miss of any color. Okay, you look at the whites on the Metro Exodus, look at the blues on the PlayStation, look at the MK11, the blacks that are coloring in the whole picture itself. This is the ultimate gaming TV, okay? When this TV came out, it already had all the features plus the updates that added more features. So, just gonna be honest with you guys, this TV is better than the Q90R. It's way better than the Q90R. The Q90R may have some fast processing perks, but with all the added headaches of the vertical banding or just, I've seen the Q90R and I was impressed by it, but then when I noticed that the color saturation was a little bit too thip, thick, a little too deep, I decided to just be happy I have this TV. My next TV, when it's available, is gonna be right here, but it's gonna be the micro LED. And the reason why micro LED is because I was originally gonna go with OLED, but with the micro LED, I don't have to worry about ruining my TV. Remember, these are investments for years. You do not want to purchase something that is gonna get broken and you, you just spend thousands for nothing, okay? 
Let me go close up to this HDR. All right, look at that. That's what a TV's supposed to look like when it comes to HDR. And I wasn't kidding to you guys about the color accuracy, okay? It's all there. Complete color accuracy. Look at the blacks. Look at that black, okay? No bleeding. That's like a perfect symmetry of perfection black, okay? There's your OLED levels. Now, yes, if you could bring the phone up close, you do see the backlight. But you know what? It's not even bad at all. Remember, this is an LCD TV. It's not an OLED. If it was an OLED, it wouldn't even be this bright, okay? So to have these colors and the accuracy the way it is, pretty damn impressed, I have to say. So guys, again, when I stress, oh, matter of fact, let me turn off my side light so you can see. Now with it off, those colors are still popping in this room. So one thing I gotta say is that don't tolerate these panels that you get that are defective. Return them, get your money back, and get what is suitable for your everyday needs because you're not going to buy a TV to have it be defective or have it be half working, you know? This is about an investment. You have to do it where it's going to make you happy, okay? So all I got to say is that this TV is a very powerful TV and I'm going to claim it is better than the Q90R hands down because when you have X, Y viewing angle, you have loss of contrast and a loss of color. Two most important elements in a TV that bring life into it. So that being said, I've had an X, Y viewing angle TV in the past and I was very disappointed at what they did with it. It was a Sony, it was a Z9F. I liked the X1 Ultimate micro, the X1 Ultimate chip was amazing, okay? It really cleaned up the resolution details. It cleaned up a lot of surfaces on the images. It looked really good, but there was no life to it. There was no backlight. There was no QLED. There was none of these things. This TV really gives you that feeling like you're really looking at a powerhouse of a TV. All right, guys, Stealth Dragon for life. Subscribe, comment. I'm here to help out when it comes to making sure that you get what you pay for and not you pay for something that you get less, I'm here to help you guys out. All right, Stealth Dragon for life. Talk to you guys in my next video.